The IATC has an aircraft landing gear platform used for training our applicants on the system. Like a lesson he gave on the fire control panel, Mr. Kadhoof will dilate upon the hydraulic braking and landing gear extension parts of this system. And just like the previous time, we will let him talk first. Okay, my, my name is Muhammad Kadhoof. Today we will discuss about uh, the landing gear and uh, some components of the landing gear, starting from the, the reservoir, and we'll talk about the brake system as well as we talk about the indication or the uh, indication panel in the cockpit. The, the reservoir is usually it is filled up with uh, fluid, and that is the scan roll. And this reservoir is connected to the, uh, the levers or the selector levers. These levers are actually will guide the pressure from one from the source of pressure, which is the pump will go to the landing gear, whether it is retracting or extending. And uh, as well as inside, you're going to find the selector valves, which is the direct, which directs the, the hydraulic pressure towards the user. Uh, here we have the, the selector. Whenever you use the selector, it is normal uh, operation, and we have an emergency operation as well. During the normal, we use the hydraulic pressure, but during the emergency, what we do is we use the emergency system. In the ground, for example, we can use the hand pump so that we can extend the hydraulic, uh, uh, we can extend the landing gear down in case of we have a failure for the landing gear during flight or during approaching. But, uh, in the normal system, we use the selector, which is the selector lever for the landing gear for up and, uh, and down position. As well as this selector uh, landing gear it has three positions, up, down, and neutral. Neutral means regardless of the hydraulic pressure is pressurized or not, still there won't be no pressure in either lines. Uh, it means that the, the landing gear is up, it's staying up, and it's going down, it will stay down, down by the down line. Here you go, here we have the radar for the brake system. The brake system, uh, usually in the light aircraft is, you know, it's hydromechanical, uh, but in uh, the big aircraft is, some of them is hydromechanical, some of them is electromechanical, and some of them is electric. And this, this brakes, we have different type of brakes, also, we have a parking brake, we have the normal brake, and also uh, we, uh, we have the auto brake. We use the auto brake as well in the big airport. Now, you see this uh, pedal. If you push it at the back of it, we have a cylinder, and this they call it a master cylinder. It has oil. By the way, this uh, brake system, but this uh, training panel is completely, uh, it's a complete system by itself. Once you push the pedal down, what will happen is the build, the, uh, from the piston, we have a piston push the pressure down, will go right to the brake system. The brake pedals, uh, when you push it, the pressure goes to the brake bear uh, bars, and that brake bars has pistons and a disc, and it will push to the disc to slow down the wheel. But by that, uh, uh, Pedal, we can slow down the aircraft and pull it also to stop. Here we have the, the controlling panel. The controlling panel here it has an indication. We have a master switch and we have two lights. Actually, these two lights, as well as we have here a CB, in case if you have a short or, short or the grounding, the CB will pop up or you can disconnect the CB and the power will go out. See, now the power is on, and as you see, a green light means the landing gear is down and locked. Green means safe to land. Okay? So if you see the throttle, if you pull the throttle back, nothing will happen. It means you are safe to... Pulling the throttle back means, retarding the throttle means you are decreasing your thrust. It means you prepare it now to tighten up, okay? 
So, if we go up on the, on the landing gear, for example, and this landing gear is up now, when it is up, okay, what will happen as soon as it reaches up, it will lock, as well as the lever, the landing gear lever will go back to neutral, that means the landing gear is up and locked, and you have a red light. Now, imagine the aircraft is flying, and uh, Captain Ricard, his uh, brother, what will happen is, what, what will happen is, this is, means this is a warning for the captain that wrongly you retard your throttle, put back so that the landing gear is still up. You follow the sequence of your of your checklist, means that the landing gear is supposed to go down before you, you retard your your, uh, your throttle. Okay, you see now the landing gear is down, and once you have a green light, and you retard the throttle, then it means it's safe and it's okay now to land and climb down. That's about it. The IATC equipment is representation of the basic manner in which the aircraft hydraulic system is used to have mechanical work done, namely operating the landing gear and brakes. Essentially, Mr. Kadhoof is explaining the IATC panel. Since throttle gets involved into the landing gear system when idling over lower altitudes like during the landing phase, system has been represented on the panel. Retarding the throttle over lower altitudes will sound off warning alerting the crew if the landing gear has not been extended. Modern transport planes have an inhibit function available in the cockpit to turn the flap and landing gear warning off for intentional low altitude flight. All planes with retractable landing gear are fitted with emergency gear extension system. The IATC Panel 2 has an emergency gear extension pump. A final word on the landing gear panel. In the real world, there won't be any luminous indication on the landing gear position once it has been retracted. In fact, a no light indication about the landing gear would mean that they were raised and stowed safely. Since the landing gear wheel doors are in transition while the wheels are either being lowered or raised, an amber indication during wheel operation would show on the landing gear panel in the cockpit. Also, as discussed, we have the hydraulic reservoir and pump on the panel. Those parts are common to nearly all planes. The whole system ranges from the basic component cycle to the more advanced system found on large transport aircraft. This lesson invites applicants to study the operation of the hydraulic system to greater detail in order to have in-depth knowledge of the very interesting aircraft systems operated by its hydraulic mechanism.